G'day, welcome to Bootlosophy. My name is Tech, and I want to acknowledge the traditional custodians of the lands that I live and work on, uh, the Wajik people of the Noongar Nation. Today, I'm opening a new box that I just received today, and you can see from the tape at the end of the box where that's from. So I'm going to open this new uh, pair of boots that I received from Bordeaux, Colombia. Uh, it's their new um, release in the group MTO that's open right now. Uh, it opened on the 9th of May, and this should be uploaded, uh, I think, on the 13th, a few days later. So get onto their website. I'll put a link in the description below where you can take a look at the new batch of boots that they're opening up in this group MTO. Uh, this is the Tucana boot in their new build. So let's take a look. Okay, let's start. Um, we'll cut open the tape. And as usual, Bordon, um, their box is bright orange, like the inside lining of their boots. So that's a really lovely color. Uh, oh, hello. They've put the card this time glued onto the box. So it says, thank you for your support. Terrific. You're very welcome, Bordon. Uh, and I'm not sure whether you can see in this light, but it's got gold lettering. It says Bordon Handmade Boots. And let's open up the box. Uh, so each boot comes in its own boot bag. And I just want to show you this. Whee! It's Christmas. <laughs> nice, lovely box. Each boot comes in its own boot bag. And the boot bag has Bordon Handmade Boots. Ooh. You can smell the leather as soon as I open that boot bag. So here we go. This is the Tucano. And many of you may have seen my review of the Tucano in uh, waxed uh, suede, which has a commando sole. I requested this one in a uh, uh, It's Hide uh, day-night style sole. And it's in uh, the new Wicket and Craig Uppers, uh, oiled Latigo in tan. That actually looks really lovely, that leather. And it's a pull-up leather, obviously. You can see how that color changes as I apply pressure to it. Lovely oiled leather. Open the other boot, other boot bag. And there you go. The Bordon has one of the uh, most comfortable lasts in my boots, I think. It, it can look quite big and wide, but it's just so comfortable at the ball of the foot and the toes are not cramped at all in that sort of round shape. And we have a tag here, a card about boot care. Terrific, excellent. So um, looking at it, you can see the oil start to move in that Wicket and Craig or Latigo uh, leather. Uh, there's a couple of different changes to the construction method. It's still stitched down, but they're using a new um, higher end thread for more sturdiness. Uh, and they've added a few extra stitches for strength. And I'll go through the rest of the um, uh, changes to the construction uh, in my initial impressions video after I've done the try on. But it certainly looks good, doesn't it? A veg tan um, leather midsole on the full length It's Hide day night style studded insole, fully stacked leather heel, um, and an It's Hide studded uh, top lift. Stitch down construction, as I've said. Um, really nicely done. I mean, I'm looking at it and I can't see any fault to the stitches uh, at all. And I understand the uh, main boot maker is now Andres, uh, who is uh, Andres and Natalia, the owners of Bordon, and he has turned his hand into becoming the main boot maker. 
take a look at the other um, boot. Nice thick leather, uh, nice thick uh, cotton, round cotton laces. I like them. That's a different design pull tab, which I'll talk about when I look at the initial impressions. Really nicely put together, excellent detailing. And if, you know, if Andres did the stitching, it's a terrific job, really terrific job. And the thread is red at the bottom and white at the top. And inside, oh, well, hello. They no longer have that um, uh, red lining, but that's because it's unlined here in the shaft with a nice heel liner, uh, heel um, sock liner at the bottom. Okay, so I'm going to put these on, try them on, and then um, wear them for a while, and I'll give you my initial impressions. But go check out their website, which is uh, in the description below, and have a look at their new release. Okay, so let's try them on. Um, one thing I notice immediately is that the tongue is newly gusseted or semi-gusseted up until um, the third from the top eyelet. So that's a, a great improvement. The old Latigo um, leather is pretty stiff, so it sort of fights me cinching up the the uh, laces, very nice. I think this is the same hardware that I'm familiar with, which I like. Pull loop is easy to get your fingers into. And certainly the speed hooks are nice and big. I really do like this leather. So they feel really good. They fit me. This is my usual European 41. Uh, length is perfect. The uh, ball of the foot actually feels just a little bit wider, um, but I quite like that. Gives me room to move and flex my feet. Um, it actually feels really nice and flexible. And I think this leather is going to patina really beautifully. Some people don't like that round toe, but I find it um, very comfortable and actually quite attractive. Nice height to the uh, shaft of the boot. Okay, so I'm going to um, wear this for a little while and give you my initial verdict. So by the magic of television or YouTube land, uh, this is the next night uh, since I received these boots from Bordon. Uh, the new Tucano boot, which has just been released on their May 9th Group MTO, uh, it is, I think, the second release in 2023. Uh, so let's go through what I think of these boots. I've worn them for a day. Uh, I, I think they're just as comfortable as any other um, Bordon boots that I've tried on. And if you've been watching my channel, you know that I've tried their previous version of the Tucano that I got in, I think, uh, 2022 or uh, late 2021 and, and uh, wore them across 2022. And you can check out my review uh, of that one uh, up there. Um, and you also know that I got two versions of the Isidro Chelsea boots, one with a wedge sole and one uh, with a commando sole, which again, you can check out uh, the review in my, in my earlier um, review. Uh, I found those really comfortable and this is no change. It's a very comfortable boot, but uh, I understand they've made some changes. Uh, but just very briefly, Bordon is... Um, a company out of Colombia. It's founded by Natalia and Andres. And a brief snapshot of the history is that they initially uh, contracted boots to be made in Europe in a Blake stitch style that they got imported into Colombia. But during COVID, um, you know, supply chain problems and all that, they decided to bring manufacture back into Colombia. 
And in fact, they started off uh, uh, using artisan craftsmen to make their, their boots in a stitch down pattern. Their first release was actually Blake Rapid stitched, but then their second release onwards uh, was stitch down construction. Uh, since then, I understand that they've had some difficulties uh, getting the craftspeople uh, that they needed. So uh, one of the partners, Andres, actually <laughs> started taking on a boot making uh, responsibilities. And I understand that he is now actually the main boot maker. And if that's the case, and if he made these boots, uh, for somebody who, you know, hasn't been making boots all his life, it is a bloody good product. Um, but let's go through it. This Bordon Tucano is an upgrade on the original Bordon Tucano that I received uh, over a year, nearly two years ago now, uh, that I've been using quite extensively, Dirty Soles, uh, and our fantastic outdoor boots. There's a couple of differences. I mean, apart from the obvious, which is the leather, uh, this version has uh, wax suede uh, from an Italian tannery. This version has full grain leather uh, from Wicket and Craig, and it's the oiled Latigo tan leather, which I'm told is about, uh, it was a five or six ounce leather which um, gives it a thickness, I, I think, of a, a, about two millimeters, a little bit over. The uh, oil tanned uh, Latigo, you can quite clearly see after just a, a day's wear that it releases its oils and moves them around and creates a beautiful pull up effect. So, in time, this is really going to be a, a, a wonderful uh, uh, patina machine, I think. Um, it feels sturdy. It feels quite waterproof and it oh, smells absolutely delicious. You could almost eat this leather. Um, the changes from the original uh, Tucano, let's go through, let's go through it from uh, top to bottom. Um, it has a new pull loop. I understand that it's a different design. Visually, it's not easy to see what the change is, but it's actually um, a slightly easier design to get your finger into and pull up. And it's, uh, um, it might be the leather, but it's a slightly thinner leather so that it's easy not to get caught up uh, in your trousers. Uh, I forgot to also point out whether you can see that, the Bordon name on the shaft. I like that. Um, the hardware is fairly similar. And I like this hardware. It's, it's a fairly firm antique brass. The speed hooks are nice and open, so it's easy to get your laces into and so on. Uh, in terms of the quarters, they have uh, moved the quarters forward a little bit and extended them uh, in order to, to get a little bit more snugness around the side of the boot, which I could immediately feel when I put it on. Uh, the ball of the foot is nice and comfortable and this feels now quite snug. Not that this wasn't, but this just feels a better, I suppose you'd say a bespoke feel to it. Um, it is still stitched down and I think I mentioned in the uh, unboxing that they've upgraded the threads they used so that it's a higher end thread and therefore more uh, sturdy and durable. And I like the way that the inside thread goes through the uh, uppers and the midsole and the outside thread goes through to the outsole, but in a different color in the outsole. The uh, toe cap in this upgraded version is a real toe cap. This one's a false one in the sense that the vamp leather stops there. Toe cap leather gets sewn on and it's stitched on. So this is one uh, piece of leather. In this case, it's a full vamp that comes down and then uh, the toe cap goes on top. And you can see that in the stitch down construction where that's a double thickness and then that's a single thickness. So if you don't know what stitch down is, that's where the uppers of the boot are flanged outwards and sewn on to the midsole to create an effect where water can just flow away and make it a little bit more water resistant. It is supposedly a little less uh, easy to resole than uh, Goodyear Welt because in a good year welt, you remove the stitching and remove the outsole. Whereas in, in a pair of stitch downs, you remove the stitching, then you have to be very careful when you restitch 
the uh, outsole back on that you're actually stitching through the same uh, stitch holes so that you don't increase the number of holes there. It has a leather shank, a built up leather shank that's been in existence in the past, I think two or three uh, iterations of their releases. It has a leather counter, not plastic. I think this one might have a thermoplastic heel counter. This is a, a, a leather heel counter. Uh, it really feels quite firm, actually. There's more stitching in the uppers. This is a very dark boot and the light's not fantastic, but the stitching along the quarters, there's triple stitching in a two plus one pattern. Um, and along the, the toe cap is a double stitch. In this case, it's quadruple stitch. There are actually four stitches coming down the quarters and it's triple stitched along uh, the toe cap. It's also true, no, it's, yep, it's also triple stitched along the heel pocket. It's a double heel stay, a heel pocket and that back stay that comes up and forms the loop. Uh, all in all, you know, it's a fantastic boot. It feels really nice to walk in and <laughs> I can't help but steal a glance and look down um, at these boots when I'm walking because the, the movement in the oils and the leather is really quite fantastic. So some fantastic improvements, improvements overall. Um, you know, I, I, this, this Bordon impresses me every time I, I get one of their boots. Um, Andres and Natalia have listened to uh, feedback from people, um, humbly from people like me, and they've added features, they've improved, they've gone on to change things to make things better. And as I've said in previous videos about Bordon and other of these um, small, passionate companies, they deserve our support. These are the guys who built up what boots are um, for people like me, the collectors like me, uh, that, that sort of reflect off their passion and, and what they produce. Definitely deserve our support. So their most recent group MTO is open right now. Go across to their website, take a look. Uh, I'll put a link in the description below. And, um, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm not an affiliate, so I don't get any kickbacks out of this. And I'm, I'm just supporting them because I really, really like what they're doing. So there you are, um, the new Bordon Tucano. Uh, and I'm sure their build is, is going to be carried across to the other uh, products in the range in this group MTO, which includes their one airs and the Isidro models with the new uppers, they are going to be fantastic. So go take a look. So I hope you like this video. If you like this style of video, let me know and I'll do more of these as I unbox. Often I, I don't bother taping the unboxing and I just go straight into wearing them and then reviewing them a few months later, which reminds me, uh, make sure you click on like and subscribe because I'll bring you a lot more boot reviews and in a few months, it will, it, YouTube will remind you to take a look at my maybe three or four month review of uh, this particular pair of boots after I've worn them for three or four months. So make sure you come back. I'll be dropping another set of videos next weekend. Uh, enjoy yourselves and take care and I'll see you soon.